I don't know why he did this. What is up guys, Camus Kicks here bringing you guys another video. So welcome back to another A Day in the Life of a Sneaker Reseller video. So I'm gonna be making a lot of these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy them, but thank you guys for all the recent support. I have been getting a lot of support from the recent videos, so I'm glad that at least some of you guys enjoy watching them, and I'm gonna try to keep bringing you guys as many weekly videos as I can. So today I'm gonna be shipping a couple pairs of shoes. I didn't get a lot of orders, unfortunately, but if you guys are ever interested in buying shoes, you can check out my story on at Cam's Kicks Official on Instagram. That's where I'll be updating what pairs I currently have for sale. But today I'm going to be showing you guys the couple pairs that I sold and dropping them off at UPS. So I'll be taking you guys along with me as I package up the shoes and drop them off. So I'll show you guys the two pairs that I sold. So these are all the pairs I currently have. Hopefully I'll be getting some more pairs in soon. The first order right here sold to Luis. Shout out to him. So he's over in California. I'll pop up his Instagram right there. Shout out to him. He copped these for $80 ship, so definitely a steal under $100 for a super clean pair of utility Vapor Maxes in a size 11. Yeah, that's the first order right there. Then the second order is a pretty fire pair of shoes in my opinion. This is a pair of Travis Scott Air Max 270 Cactus Trails. Pretty clean uh, in pre-owned condition as well, just like the Vapor Maxes, but yeah, not too bad a condition for anyone that doesn't know, they do come pre-aged like that. These aren't all beat up. That's how they come. So they're still in overall pretty good condition. I sold them for 230 plus shipping. So it was 240. Whoop. Just dropped the shoe. It was 245 shipped. So didn't make a whole lot of profit on these two sales right here, but a lot of this inventory I've been sitting on for about a couple months. So it's always good to sell stuff and just reinvest that money back into better pairs that can move quicker. I think I made $30 profit on these after shipping. I made about 45 before shipping, so shipping is probably about 15, maybe a little bit less. So I might have made a little bit more. This one I only paid $30 though, luckily. So this one I made $50 profit minus shipping. So maybe 35, 40 profit on this one off of a $30 investment. So that's obviously a really good margin, good return on investment there. So I'm gonna package these two shoes up. First, I'm gonna print out the labels. So I will show you guys that. Next, I got the good old thermal label printer that you guys saw in my last A Day in the Life of a Sneaker resale video. So I'm gonna print those real quick and get these packaged up and I gotta make it to the UPS pretty quick. Today is Saturday and it is 4.20 p.m. They close at five, so let's get going. Okay, did not mean to do that. I made it I shouldn't be talking right now but I made it with a whopping 10 minutes to spare and uh yeah okay so i'm gonna go drop these off and honestly i think that is gonna do it for this segment of the video making sure i'm parked didn't want to start rolling forward anyways okay this is gonna do it for this segment of the video i will see you guys tomorrow and yeah i don't know what i'm saying stay tuned All right guys, so today is the next day and I actually got a trade-in, which is something a little bit different. So I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing and I'm gonna show you guys what two pairs he is trading for my one pair. And uh, you guys let me know, comment down below who you think won this trade, but I don't know. I think I might've took this one, let's see. Okay, so wow, a bunch of packing peanuts like a ton. I don't know if you guys can see that. I guess this is how you are supposed to package packages. Um, yeah, I don't do this. I think this is a 
bit much, but now I guess if you guys order, I will use this for whatever is in here. This will help for a few orders, so I appreciate that. But let's see. We got some heat right here. Try not to make a mess and get this stuff everywhere. We will get to this in a second. Let me pull the other out. All right. Oh my gosh. This is going everywhere, getting all in the shoe. Now that we got all of the packing peanuts out from this box, we are gonna get this out of here. Okay, so this was traded to Trusted Sneakers. I'll pop up his Instagram right here. Shout out to him. So first I'll be showing you guys what pair of shoes he is getting. It is a brand new pair of Adidas Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. This is one of my all time favorite pairs of Yeezys that they've ever released. I still got a little price sticker on there from selling these at SneakerCon. They didn't end up selling there, unfortunately. Yeah, this is just such a dope pair of Yeezys. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll try to show you better. Yeah, just such a fire pair of Yeezys. It's got the really cool color blocking, the orange right there on the heel. It's got the blue and green colors on the toe box. When I first saw this shoe like many years ago when it came out, I wasn't a fan of them, but they really grew on me. And this is still my all time favorite Yeezy 700 colorway for sure. I don't know about all time favorite Yeezy, but it's definitely up there. Really clean pair of shoes. Anyways, he is getting this pair of shoes. Again, brand new size nine and a half. I don't know why he did this, but big shout out to him. Make sure to go follow him, trusted sneakers because he traded me two pairs of shoes that are worth a good bit more in my opinion. I think I could get over an extra $100 at least on these. So he traded me a brand new pair of Jordan 1 Taxis in a size nine, which is a super slept on pair of Jordan 1s. These are actually really nice in hand. It's like a very dark yellow, if you call it. So it almost looks orange. And for anyone that's a big fan of Jordan 1s, I'm pretty sure you guys know what this looks like, but this obviously, sorry, this packing, peanuts on this still. This obviously looks like the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1, one of the most sought after pairs of Jordan 1s that probably goes for around $1,000 brand new. If I had to guess, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I'm guessing they probably went down after they released this just because this is such a more affordable pair of Jordan 1s and it looks so similar. I mean, obviously the quality is not as good. This is a little bit more white on the Shattered Backboards. I'm pretty sure it's more sale and it's like a darker orange. So, but it does definitely look very similar at first glimpse if someone's just wearing these, I could definitely see them kind of pass off as the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1. So for about $200, which is about what these are going for a little over retail if not some sizes pretty much going for retail because they did raise the retail to 180 now it doesn't say on the box but yeah retail is 180 and this one is different so this is a pair of jordan 2 lows which the jordan 2s have came back a lot lately within the last couple years the j balvin 2s they just released the og chicago 2s off-white 2s they got the off-white chicago 2 lows and the black and blue colorway which i'm about to show you guys this one this one's a bit different but yeah they, they just released a lot of pairs of twos. Alma Meniere twos, that's another good one. Recent collabs with Jordan twos have just kind of brought them back again. So it's kind of cool to see because Jordan twos were something that were slept on for many years and people used to call them like bowling shoes and kind of not really like the Jordan two that much. And I've always been a fan of the Jordan two. I'm a more fan of Jordan lows. So I like the Jordan two low. Love it or hate it, but I think it's a really dope shoe. Now this is a Jordan 2 low. I don't know if this has a specific name. It just says Varsity Royal in the box. So I don't know if this has a specific name, just black, blue, or something simple. But yeah, this is a brand new size 8 and it only goes for about $300, which is not a whole lot, but when you put it into perspective that this is going for like 360 and this is going for almost 200 and this is 300 and he didn't even trade. So. I don't know, bro. Shout out to you. I really appreciate that. But if you guys are ever interested in trading for pairs of shoes, all you guys have to do is ship it to me first. And then I ship out the pair once I make sure everything's good to go and they're received. So his pair is being shipped out today, as long as these other orders I'm about to show you guys. But yeah, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Cam's Kicks Official. That's where I post all my shoes for sale. I update my story pretty much every day so you guys can see what I have available for sale or you guys can check my available highlight tab on my Instagram. But anyways, yeah, super dope pair of shoes. Brand new, size eight. I'll take out the other one. Man, it looks the same. So I don't know if you guys really wanna see the other one. Yeah, it's got the extra laces and everything. And I'm shooting this on my GoPro today, so I don't know if the quality is the best. My last A Day in the Life video, most of it I shot on some Canon cameras that I have. He actually has the, 
original stock X receipt too, which is cool. He paid 278 for him. So yeah, the market's kind of fluctuating. I've seen it go from anywhere from around like 250 to a little over 300. So I'll probably be pricing these around 300. Will I get that? Not necessarily because size eight isn't the best size and it is a little bit of an obscure shoe, but it is off white and I think someone's gonna buy it at the end of the day. So yeah, so I think that was definitely a great trade. Again, big shout out to him. Guys, definitely make sure to go follow him. All right, so now the next order, this one actually dropped a lot in price and I think I might make a video talking about kind of the sneaker market and kind of comparing some shoes that dropped a lot in price because this is definitely one of them. The Cherry 11 used to go for closer to 300, but now some sizes are going for like just over 200, like definitely under retail, which is kind of crazy to see for a nice pair of Jordan 11 highs, but yeah, I paid pretty low on this one, luckily, so I pretty much just broke even. I think I made like 20 bucks. I was afraid I was gonna lose money, so I just took an offer of 225 shipped, which last I checked, I think they were only going for like 210, so I still got a little bit over. As far as ask, I mean, obviously StockX is gonna have lots of fees, shipping fees, processing fees, even sales tax, if you guys live in a state that charges sales tax, which most people do. I sold these to Sahil and his Instagram, let me see, he's been someone that's buying from me since the York store, maybe even a little bit before, so shout out to him. He's been buying for me for years. 919 hype underscore drip. Shout out to you, bro. I'll pop up your Instagram. But yeah, he picked up these right here for 225 shipped. So nice pair of dead stock cherry 11 size eight and a half. Now this is one of the bigger orders that I've gotten in a little while. He ended up picking up six pairs of shoes and he wanted me to shout out his store page, which is vidivc.sb. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Half the stuff I pronounce, I don't pronounce it right. So we'll see. He picked up six pairs of shoes for a total of $1,435. So $1,435 shipped. The first one he picked up is a very nice pair of Dunk Lows. Uh, this is the Valerian Blue Nike Dunk Low size 10. He picked these up for $195. And this is another one the market did drop a little bit. They were lower and then they started creeping up to like mid 200s and now they're back down to about 200-ish. So I sold it a little under market, but not too worried about it. Always good to reinvest into other sneakers and keep it moving. You don't want to sit on inventory for too long. And I had two pairs of Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. My second one is also gone and this sold to him in that six pair order. So I used to have these as a personal. I ended up selling them a while ago. We got a dope pair of brand new Lightning Four size nine. Really cool. They originally came out in 2006, I wanna say, and I had a couple pairs of those. And I don't need to show you guys all three of these, but he got three pairs of Jordan 12 playoffs. He got a size 10, uh, two size 10s and a size nine and a half. So you guys can see that right there. Obviously a classic pair of Jordan 12s. So I'm gonna be packaging these up and today I'm actually going to Lebanon, Tennessee to go to Sneaker City, which he's a really dope guy. He owns a sneaker store there. Gonna be filming some great content there. So you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for that. Gonna be filming three videos today. So that's not gonna be in here obviously, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video guys. Let me know if you guys wanna see more of a day in a life video but make sure to like comment share this video if you guys aren't already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to follow me on instagram again at cams kicks official thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night